This is my version of shepherd's pie. How you doing today? Today I am making shepherd's pie. It's a quick recipe. Actually, you can make this a quick recipe. You can make it an elaborate recipe. I think the first time I actually had shepherd's pie, was at a dinner party at my mom's foster parents' house. It was like a catered event type thing. And I remember my mom asking, what What are we eating? She's like, shepherd's pie. And I mean, it is so versatile that you can make this a quick and easy meal, or you can make this as elaborate as you want. Today we are making the easiest version possible. I have about one and a half pounds of pork, ground pork. You can use ground hamburger, ground chicken, ground turkey. You can use whatever you want next. I'm using pork because it was cheap. I already fried it up. I moved it in this pot because it's bigger. I'm using already made gravy. It's just pork gravy. I'm just going to pour the whole container in here. And I did not do that before. Okay. Now inside of the, the jar I just poured in, I'm going to add a half a jar of water. You can make your own gravy if you want. This is kind of my lazy version. right in here with the meat and the gravy. Okay, it's gonna start to heat up. To this mixture, today I just have a can of mixed vegetables. You can use frozen vegetables, you can use fresh vegetables, you can use whatever you want, as long as you cook them. But since I'm using canned vegetables, you don't have to cook them separately, you can put them right in with the gravy. Everything's going to cook together anyway. If you're going to use fresh vegetables, you're going to want to cook them till they're fork tender, so then when they cook all together, they're not so hard. And that means my oven is ready. I'm just going to put it on, stay on. Okay, this is starting to boil. That means it's heated up well. Okay. Make sure it's all mixed together. Alright, I'm going to pour just my mixed vegetables in there. I drained all the water out. Make sure they all go in. together for a few minutes. Okay, because I'm making this the easiest version possible, excuse me, you need potatoes for the top. I use packaged potatoes. You can use your own fresh potatoes if you want. These were just two for a dollar bags that I got at Publix. I already made it to package directions. Now I'm using my fork. I take my fork, grab the potatoes. Since I let them, <laughs> I had to let them sit for a few minutes before they were finished according to package directions. Now I'm just going to whip them together. Okay, and we're going to put them aside. reduce a little bit. It's coming together. Doesn't matter if it reduces or not. It's going to go in the oven anyway. Okay. Now I have my pan. You can use a bigger pan. Since I have a small oven, this is the biggest I can put in my in my oven right now. This is actually, I think, a 
our brownie pan that I got at the dollar store. I'm give this a few more seconds to heat up. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and have it on stay on. Once this is all put together, we're just going to place it in the oven for like 20-25 minutes just so everything incorporates and we're going to put cheese on top. You do not have to put cheese on top. I'm going to put cheese on top because I have some today. If you do not put cheese on, you can put salt, pepper, garlic, whatever you want to put on top to season it. Even though it's already seasoned. When um, you're cooking the meat before you put it in here, you season it whatever way you want. Like whatever way you would cook hamburger to uh, or whatever to um, put it in a, another recipe. And then the gravy, you can make your own gravy. Vegetables, as I said, you could, they could be frozen, fresh. I used canned vegetables today only because I wanted to make this as easy as possible and quick as possible. And I'm only cooking for myself, so I really don't care. I'll put together on the pan and I'll be right back. Right, I have it in my pan now. What I did was I put the layer of pork and gravy and vegetables on the bottom. I put the potatoes on top. Now I'm just going to add the cheese on top of the potatoes. This is just some sliced cheese that I had in my fridge. You can use whatever cheese you want. You can use no cheese. It's fine. There are times that I don't use any cheese and I just season the top with some salt, pepper, and garlic. Okay, I've also seen, if you've ever had this at a restaurant, they actually pipe the potatoes on top with one of those like, like they would do icing for a cake. I've seen that where they make little flowers of the potatoes all the way like here and then all the way around. If you wanted to make this like for a dinner party or something like that, you can make this look like really nice. But since I'm just making it for my dinner and I really don't care what it looks like, I just plopped all the potatoes on top and I put cheese on like I... It was the whole idea that you could throw this meal together in a few minutes and you're ready to go and eat. So I set my timer for 20 minutes and I'll be back. My oven went off after 20 minutes. Okay. This is what you want. This is just my tossed together shepherd's pie, which means like I just tossed it together. I didn't worry about what it looks like. You can make this any way you want, but this is my version of shepherd's pie. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. I post a new video every Friday, so please subscribe.